Everybody, welcome back to the land down under. Yep. We're going to be finishing up chapter two today. Okay. See what I mean? The coins are silver here. Oh, yeah. That's just because of the uh, color scheme of uh, Bentley's laptop. Ah. I feel like there's more upgrades already than the last game. Yeah. they. You tend to get two per character per chapter. Mm -hmm. So that's a total of like 12. Uh, whereas in... Sly 2, you got one per character per chapter, and then Sly gets a whole bunch because of his uh, combat abilities. Yeah. Green kangaroos. The more I think about it, the weirder it is. Hmm. Well, I may make an ill-gotten gain this day on Black Friday. Oh, here we go. All right, boys. Look tough and get angry. It's time to intimidate the locals. I'm not sure I can do it. <laughs> How do you guys Oh, I've get seen angry? you plenty angry, Bentley. Find the match deep inside yourself. Light it and let the fire burn up your guts and boil your blood. Uh, yeah, I pretty much do the same thing. Look. Our goal is to drive away these miners, and we'll do whatever it takes. All right, let's let's uh, let's hit this bar. You know, there's no big bad here, is there? No, there isn't. That's that's See, the big problem. I think that's a big problem because it really does just strike you as these guys are just trying to make a living as miners, and that's kind of well, sad. The 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 big thing is that they are tearing up. Uh, a aboriginal lands. Okay, yeah, that that is a big Listen no no. Up, I'll give you that. Time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang turf. No, but call yeah. him wanker. Don't be a coward. Yeah. Uh so the the villain of this chapter apart from the miners is supposed to be the Mask of Dark Earth, but you already know everything there is to know about the Mask of Dark Earth. It has no backstory or characterization at all. Challenges what you had in mind, then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you got. Losers have to clear out. This is a piss chugging contest. That oh yeah, you can tell that at one point this was supposed to just be straight up beer or something. Ready, steady, go. Uh, so wait, down. press. Tr okay. Just just press the face buttons a whole bunch. Uh, that's it. Man, he's just going to town. Waterfall. Why are they so waiting? Uh, it's, it's, uh, you can only start once the previous person finishes. Right, no, I agree. I'm just saying, like, logically, this is kind of weird, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you can drink real fast when you spill it everywhere, man. <laughs> yeah, each of your characters have different rates at which they drink, whereas the other guys all drink at the same rate. Yeah. Looks like Gerardi all over the place. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I had to make the joke. Yep. Around here, there's only one thing we do with cheaters. Turn on the fence, Bruce. It's time a we these cheaters a beating. So, in uh, Lowe's today, I saw a very particular kind of dog. Speaking of Australia, a blue healer, if you can believe it. Ah, bluey. Yeah, I didn't think it was a real. Like, I knew healers were real. I just didn't. I always forget that blue dogs kind of exist. The same way red dogs exist in quotation marks. Yeah. I like that switch activated uh, stove. Uh, st yeah, potbelly stove. Yeah, a little trap. You can also hit enemies into the fire. So, okay, what, what prompted the character switch? Just a timer or? I think it's number of uh, enemies defeated. I see. But yeah, uh, this Black Friday, I'm today, that is, I'm really tempted to buy an iPad Air. I might do it. Ooh. 
I've never had a job that pays this way. That's a lie. I've had jobs that pay better than this, but I've never kept them for this long. Not that I get fired, mm. mind you. It's just school has always been a thing. Yeah. So it feels, I feel, it's weird. I feel bad spending that much money on myself, but at the same time, it's like, well, like I'll have the same amount of money in like a week, so who cares? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm not used to that. Yeah, once, it was, uh, after I got my current job, um, where I realized, hey, wait a second, I can buy a PS4 and play Kingdom Hearts 3 when it comes out in a few months. Yeah. Um, Andrew was like that this Black Friday with something I... Uh, he's thinking about upgrading to a PS5. Because, hmm. Is well, he going to get one of the new ones, the new models? Uh, maybe more like he'll get the older one for cheaper because the newer hmm. one's out, if that's a thing that he can do. Just because, yeah. you know, his uh, PS4 is getting old in the tooth. Mm -hmm. Has a bit of the lawnmower problem where the disk drive is loud. Yeah. It would be real. You know, I just had a thought. And I, I know solid state is technically just digitally loaded onto the thing, but it would be nice if we could get, um, I don't know, like, I know cartridges have their problems, but I wish there was a way to get high density. Well, no, because cartridges have come a long way. You could theoretically have a cartridge-based media system. I mean, we have that. It's called the Switch. Right. I'm just saying for, like, Blu-rays and DVDs. Well, the problem is is that media, uh, uh, physical media in general for movies and TV is uh, not as popular as it once was. Yeah. It's not so much about the medium itself. Yeah. Like, I, I hate to say it. No, I don't hate to say it. But Christopher Nolan and... I uh, uh, can't think of the name. I like the alligator leg on that menu for five quid. totally maxed out heavyweight champions! Because they're be dead. Anytime soon. Um, guys, looks like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take this guy down. That mask has a powerful force in it. Real Majora's Mask Hours. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, right. Um, Christopher Nolan and... Uh, Gil del Tormo? However you say that guy's name, you know. Yeah. Both say, like, we really, like, it sucks that physical media is losing its, um, luster because you lose out a lot. Like, you know, special features were once really cool. There's the fact that, I don't know, like, just streaming is a whole problem with, like, ownership and, like, you know how long yeah there, there's a lot stuff. of problems with like, streaming and like digital which is ownership why is piracy will always itself. be relevant right and it sucks because for a while streaming streaming proved that once again piracy is a service issue yeah yeah piracy uh, during netflix's heyday uh when it was like the only uh service around except for like maybe hulu yeah uh, piracy went way down, and then the yeah. streaming war started. Everybody wanted a piece of the pie, and it went right back up. Yeah. It sucks because, like, I don't know. Look at the king of it, like Steam. Their business model's so good. Not only do I not pirate... Well, I do pirate games, but they're usually Nintendo games because... Uh, Old stuff that's um, long out of right. print. Or, yeah. Uh, but my point is... Yeah, let's just go with that. But my point is, um, Steam is so good as a service that I not only buy games, I buy games I never play just because it's so convenient to just buy them on sale. It's a problem. Lots of sales and everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, really need, I really need to get to know Straight Roads. I need to play Shadow Warrior 3. I have no excuse. One of its main problems, apparently, is that it's super short. Oh, I don't know if I showed you this picture or I just thought about sending it to you. It's a one of those hokey plastic um, holders for like a Switch controller, but it's a shotgun. 
and I kind of want to buy it just Finally, to try Doom 2016 with it. It's getting away. Leave Might be stupid. Bar, well, what is it just floating away? We need to destroy it. Yeah, it just sort of swooshes around. <laughs> I like swoosh. What is That's swoosh a, from? That sounds familiar. It's it's from a, a Scooby Doo meme. Oh yeah. Scooby Doo. <sighs> that reminds me. Spoilers for Death Battle. Do you care about Death Battle? <laughs> Uh, not so much. I, I've, I'm dozens of episodes behind. Right. Uh, they did a Courage the Cowardly Dog and Scooby episode that was really good. Like, genuinely impressive. Huh. Yeah, it was, like, kind of insane. Like, I'll just say, because Courage and Scooby are, like, canonically really good friends, you can imagine how it would end up. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh, yeah. Benley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down. Sounds oh, like that thing. texture did not line up. Oh, there it is. We're going after some oh, his texture's oil, unwrapped right? wrong. I don't on his know. arm. On the arm. It, yeah. That might be a resolution thing. Don't tell Bentley. Yeah, well, probably not. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. It's either emulation or just, like you said, distance to the camera or something. I never really noticed it, but that might just be a thing with his model. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we're playing not on a CRT. Sly, phase one is to protect these power stations while Murray gets all six oil wells flowing. Wait, why do we want right, to pump new more oil? Oh, right, radioactive oil or something. We need radioactive oil. I just can't up. shake the Here's feeling the that's not a thing. I mean, any anything can be radioactive if he just has, like, you know, irradiated dust on it, or you just, you know, directly yeah. irradiated. So. That's what that's what blew my mind when, because my brother's kind of into, uh... This is easy. You do see quite a depth. The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. So the dust in the background is overlaying the uh, electric effects, which I think was also the case on original hardware and uh, isn't an emulation I mean, issue. Whatever. It's. I mean, aesthetically, it's no big thing. It actually makes sense because electricity is going to be. Yeah. One of one of the things that makes this mini game difficult is that there's no drop shadow on the arm, and I'm not sure if that also is an emulation error, but I don't think it is. Ah. Uh, Come on, developers. It's free. It's free to I, do that. I need to check. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I like that the health bar for the arm has its own little logo. Uh, <laughs> that's actually for the things on the bottom. You see? Oh, uh, yeah. There. Oh, yeah. so we're defending. What are yeah, those? Yeah, those are like power relays, um, I think. Basically, we just need to keep drilling yeah. um, in a certain way. I see. So, and Murray's physically drilling. That's funny. Um, we need, we need to get the oil wells in the background uh, gushing. Right. It's kind of like siphoning, I suppose. But yeah, my brother's kind of. Into Did that hurt Murray? No. Ah. But yeah, my brother kind of during the whole Cold War II electric boogaloo with Russia that we're having, kind of got into looking up nuclear stuff and learning stuff about like bombs and like the fact that fallout is actually not caused like it's not some like big radiation field that like exists it's just literally the irradiated dust yeah that, like settles which means that's why that's why during the cleanup of uh chernobyl they sprayed sticky stuff around it they ah. all the point was just it was sticky, and it meant right. that dust couldn't get kicked up. It's funny because that's how we handle asbestos with the stuff we found at our house, other than the stuff we had removed. Um, but yeah, like, and he's like, well, you know, if you can just shelter for two weeks, then the radiation levels go down to acceptable levels, which is kind of not what you'd expect. Ha! I like little foot kicking. Oh, that's Andy. Okay, so you better pick up the pace. <laughs> Just that perfectly timed explosion. 
Yeah, Murray ran right through the barrels, so that deprives me of a yeah, couple of things I could use. Not that I need it, but... Yeah. It seems like you didn't throw that one guy very far the first time. Hmm. Oh. Wow, they barely do anything, but I guess... Yeah, it's 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 if you um, are really bad and get overwhelmed mm -hmm. and you have, like, five guys hitting yeah. them at the same time. That's how I've been with Pikmin 4 with the tower defense stuff. Um, I hate it because you get all cocky at first and then your mistakes add up super quickly. <laughs> Not to mention I have yet to lose any Pikmin and that just, I don't know. Although I have lost some glow Pikmin, couldn't be helped. Although I guess they can't die technically, so whatever. They just go back to the place and... Yeah. If you lose them, it just means fewer Pikmin seeds that you can right. glow Pikmin seeds that I'm you saying, can like, lore-wise, it's explicitly stated they, like, turn back into light and then go back to the mound and they're just whatever. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. They're basically just super Pikmin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And unlike Boldman, they can fly, so... <coughs> Still super salty that you can't have over a hundred Pikmin in the post game. Like that's a massive miss opportunity. That being said, be, maybe uh, that's a hardware limitation. I don't know. Because yeah. that's the thing. Like a hundred's just been tradition at this point, so it's hard to say. So, not to spoil anything, but are we gonna? Um, have any more guru missions? Oh yeah, there'll, there'll be more stuff with the guru in this in this world. Yeah. Okay, cool. I have been thinking about that. You will see. Oh, okay. So you got trebuchet. Yeah, we gotta set those oil wells on fire oh, now. That's not a trebuchet. This reminds me. It's funny. This reminds me of that one movie that came out recently about, what was it, um, some Native Americans struck oil in Canada, and, the, like, the Canadian government was, like, super sketchy about letting them spend their money and slowly, like, had people just kind of take them over from the inside. The point is, it is kind of similar in that this is oil on Native land. Yeah, so uh, trying to get the rock onto the pad there to launch it is kind of difficult. Oh, you can yeah. easily over or undershoot it, and then you got to do it all over again. Right. And so what's setting this on fire? The, uh, rocks. the rocks. These are flint rocks. Oh, yeah. It's kind of wild that if you just hit a rock hard enough, you'll get sparks, depending on the rock. Have you seen the thermite thing with the two balls? Uh... No. Okay, that was way too vague. Uh, okay, so you have two iron balls, and if you hit them against a piece of paper, you can uh, have it burn the piece of paper in between because the huh. surface area is so small. But if you rust the balls or one of the balls to hell, and then you coat the other one in aluminum foil, you can like kind of hit the balls together at an angle. And that creates a thermite reaction, and it's like crazy how hot it gets just for that brief moment. Oh, that that doesn't look safe. Murray, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh! Murray later died of leukemia. I'm guessing that they didn't uh, know too much about radiation <laughs> when just, making this game. It's just... <laughs> Murray just frolicking in a radiated goo it, like a kid at the Nickelodeon Choice Awards. Oh, man. Man, I miss Figure It Out. That was a good show. Summer Sanders was hot. All right, time for that mission. Oh, the alligator one? Yep. I don't care that's a crocodile. I want to say big-lipped alligator. A few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to uh, uh, put the smack down on these uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous. I'm the man for the job. 
The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Oh my gosh. They like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister <laughs> plan, Bentley. I approve. Are we the baddies? With some luck, the oversized reptile I know, right? <laughs> is an invaluable asset in our efforts to drive away the miners. He might even take care of our mask of dark earth problems. I've spotted it prowling near the safe house. Roger, it's feeding time. Here we go. So, wait. So, we play as Murray. How does the guru factor into this? He's the one uh, uh, baiting the guards I over see. to this area. I just want to point out those kangaroos. Oh no! Oh gosh! Yeah. Oh no! Hey Murray, it's me, the guru. Uh, we're going to do something, but uh, you might not want to think about. Oh, okay. I don't know how long I can keep up that bit, but I really, I do. He does give off Lotto vibes. Or maybe I just wanted to have an excuse to do that gosh awful voice. Man, this is profoundly effed. So somehow he got one of them, even though I didn't throw one in. Hmm. Yeah, it was weird. I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to unclip that audio later. I don't know what it is about doing impressions. I can't do them quietly, and it drives me crazy. Like, I feel like that's a common problem. And I know voice actors can get around it, but... I don't know what it is. Huh. I don't know. Everyone in my family can do good impressions except me. It's weird. Maybe I'm too hard on myself, but it just doesn't feel like it. Like... Maybe it's because all I hear is me. I'd be flailing too if I knew I was about to be devoured. But first by a crocodile. Oh gosh. Take cover, Murray. Here comes a guard wearing the mask of dark urge. I thought it was dark urge. Oh, wait. That's from Brothers Gate 3. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Since when do masks get away? All right, time to plan out our heist. So what are we heisting? The mask itself? You can feel it in the air. The miners are about to pack it in. In fact, they'd probably already be lost. Oh, I finally got a good look at it. It's so cute. Oh, no. It's clear we need to destroy it. So we're just trying to get the uh, miners away and destroy the mask. Right. With it gone, we'll have clear skies for phase two. Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the mask of dark earth is the sworn enemy of the moon spirit. So, given Murray's what? moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him <laughs> It's a good face. Spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The mask is sure to spot him. Wow. That's a stupid right. plan. That's when we'll strike. That's the reason why we need radioactive goo. It glows. But it doesn't, though. Not in that spectrum. Huh. They cut all the way to the safe right there. Yeah. it's We're trying to get uh, also recruit the guru so he'll help us with that job. Right. So, yeah, um... Looks like my Majora's Mask quote wasn't entirely wrong. No, it was not. If I had a nickel for... <laughs> Guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the Mask of Dark Earth. Hi, Yahoo. 
Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I hope. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. Get too close and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing and it's sure to mm. fall apart. Oh yeah, but yeah, if I had a nickel for video games where a mask hates the moon, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Yeah. You know that Phineas and Ferb joke, right? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how much Dan Pobin Meyer has influenced the animation industry, I feel like. Mm -hmm. I just didn't realize he he not only voices Doof, but he's like co-showrunner, I think. Bundle of sticks. So yeah, even, even Sly's invisibility doesn't work on guards that have already seen you, yeah. but... I mean, if I saw somebody just turn into a rock, I'd be very confused. That thing's on its last legs. Ramp one more guard Reminds me of the log no jitsu, where you turn into a log. Oh, okay. Sagebrush. I didn't try to get all the flashlight guards for this. It's just how it happened. Mm. I guess the less kangaroos, the better. I'm going to choose to believe... Oh. Behold! The moon spirit rises! Woo! Everyone keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. We Girl. Got a situation here, fellas. Looks like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Drat, what is she doing here? We'll just Looking for Sly. All right. Roger, applying wide bird. Quit horsing around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. You know, in a world like theirs, a phrase "quit horsing around" has to have some kind of racial connotation. I'm trying uh -oh. to think if there's ever been horses in this series. Here I come, master! Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Well, I had a feeling that would happen. Infinite rage! Coop! Thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. You know, I was going to make a joke about Cooper dying death by Snoo Snoo, but considering she just got giant, I think the game made the joke for me. Well, this is about to <sighs> All right, so here we go with one of the weirdest uh, things they've ever put into a Sly game. Yeah, overall, honestly, I would say that Chapter 2 here is my least favorite chapter of this game, and possibly of the series. Mm. Like, there's it, there's no good, like, villain, you know, like, like we were talking about earlier. Right. And this last part is just weird and kind of sus. Yeah. Sly is trying to avoid being stepped on. But, no, I'm not finishing that sentence. Gosh, I'll stop. You know, it's funny. In games, I always wonder about, like, map design. Like, map layout and whatnot. Because I feel like it's really hard to do well. Like, like I mentioned Banjo-Kazooie and Tui being all right with it. Like, Kazooie does this thing where most levels are either big enclosed circular areas or... Um, you know, kind of mostly a shape. Yeah, I mean, you're going to need a lot. To kick in. Or not. The chemicals in my darts must somehow be interacting with the <laughs> Okay. Um, 
she's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back the down. The rider's with time. barely disguised fetish trope is at it again. Okay, we, okay, so we have you, a giant truck. It's funny you should say that because I had already decided to name this part that, oh, like nice. a while ago. <laughs> Wait, is she just holding another truck? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the same size of truck, but yes. Mm. Well, I gotta give them credit. They're being pretty creative. Like, yeah, I would compare this series to the Donkey Kong Country series in that, um, you know, first game set the formula, second game expanded on the formula a little bit in different ways. Third game looks like it's, we're gonna just have a lot of variety. And I think that's a good way to go. Just as long as it's not, you can't have it be terribly shallow, though. Like, yeah. So a, a bunch of these barrels explode in the claw, and I don't know why. Uh, if I had to guess, it's that one gets too... Well, no, because I'd say if it was one hitting the other, then they both explode, so... Uh... I don't like the voice filter they put on Carmelita's voice. Yeah, like... I keep making jokes about the Amazonians from Futurama, but the jokes just keep writing themselves. My gosh. Glad I'm not a furry. Why is she big? Oh my gosh, no. This reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it, and I don't think I want to. She's too huge. We can't outrun her in the truck. How are you doing, Don? This is bad. We need a new strategy, and fast. Force just isn't working. Time to stop running and deal with a real problem. Pry off that mask of dark earth, and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her. Okay, not the point. It's all about taking off that Sly, mask. Sly, what are you staring at? Okay. Find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get I can't to believe it. this. I get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh, yeah. Ah, so this. <laughs> this Man, this is just keeps the main getting thing. further and further. My gosh. Sorry. Yeah, and if you can believe it, I would say that Sanzaru in Sly 4 was a little worse. Not weird, but worse. Hmm. I'm disgusted, but intrigued. Looks like each side of the mask is latched on with only one hook. Maybe if you hug off it, she'd swat you away and knock it off. Real shadow of the Colossus hours. Yeah. I do not land on her tail. I don't know if you could you even? Yeah, there were sparkles. Hmm. You know, this is what Infamous series was missing. Scaling a gigantic woman. You know, it's weird that we can kind of dismantle this mask when before it seemed... ...undestructible. Well, the mask well, is now big, which is weird. We'll just leave the destruction part to these guys. Yeah, to be fair. Well, they're all oh. dead anyway, that was weird. Yeah, thanks for taking one for the team, guys. Yeah. That was easy. Carmelita just lay there, unconscious. Don't say that. Hopeless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. Okay, I got really concerned there for a second. <laughs> Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. Somehow, it was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been. I mean, yeah, the miners did a lot of damage, and we did a lot of damage getting them out. Right. I mean, I guess to be fair, it is Australia. How good can it get? I'm sorry, that's me. 
develop film immediately. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member. I mean, after and a team, show like that, I feel like you'd have to come with you. Swirly Photoshop magic. Well, All right, so that's... I'm going to need therapy after that one, boys. We are... Uh, the, the worst is behind us. Uh, there's nowhere to go but up. And next chapter is definitely up. Good. In more ways than one. So, see you then. Bye-bye.